you can see I've now got it on a low brace. I welded up a new string adjusting ring because um, well, I felt like doing a bit of welding. Uh, it's a bit odd because I was looking at it, I thought I'll just run the calipers over it and see how the limb taper looks. And the upper limb's actually a bit thicker than the lower. So it should be stiffer in theory. I don't know if it's the difference in the heat treating of the U or what, but it's an illustration of why you can't always make a bow by numbers. At the end of the day, it's about the tiller. So, see that right limb, the upper limb doesn't look stiffer, although if you were measuring, you'd think it should be. Well, there's 40. Where well, is it looking? I don't know. It's looking pretty good. There we are, 50. Oh, some went bang. Yeah. Now, as you can see that, boys and girls, we've lifted a splinter on the back. So all that work was for nothing, but it was fun. And that's why I do this stuff. And why is it broken there? Well, there's a discontinuity, isn't there? You've got the grain showing through, the grain runs off there. And arguably, it's a weak point where the lever stops. Perhaps the lever stops a little bit short. Hmm, there you go. Is it repairable? Yeah, looking at it now, you'd say the lever stops shorter than it should. Because where that narrows... Yeah, it's sort of marginal, isn't it? I should have faded the lever out more gently. Easy to be wise after the event, but I do take a pride in showing the failures as well as the good stuff. Well, I could glue that and bind it, and well, you know me, I probably will just for the hell of it. See what it'll do. It'll probably never be a superb flight bow, but you just can't tell. Sometimes things that don't look very promising, turn out to be good, and vice versa. Of course, having just put the glue pot away, I've had to get it out again, but I'm um, leaving the bow over the glue pot to sort of warm it up, so I can get some good penetration with that glue. So I'll glue it, clamp it up while it goes off, and then um, bind that area with fine linen thread, soaked in some more glue, do the same the other end as a precaution. I could even glue a, a bit of extra lever on the back there. We'll see, I mean it's all experimental. Actually I've just noticed looking at the other limb, the lever extends quite a bit further before it dips. So I hadn't actually quite got it symmetrical. You see this one finishes there, where it's still quite narrow, this one finishes here, where it's substantially thicker. Mmm, there you go. The repair looks pretty good. I've added a bit of extra reinforcement there, and I'm going to bind sort of crisscross with linen thread and then soak that in the horn glue. Right, I've persevered and done a repair of sorts. So I've got that all soaked in glue and clamped up. Then I added this little fillet of extra strengthening there to match it up with the other side and some binding all soaked in glue, that's linen thread, done the same the other end and it's easy to think well blimey what a huge amount of work 
what a waste of effort and time and all the rest of it. But it's a learning exercise and you also have to remember that this was a, a failed bow in the first place. The belly was all chiselled. So a lot of the original work hasn't had to be done. So it's not a vast investment in time and effort, but it still rankles that I managed to make one lever start there and the other lever start there. I mean, I don't know how that happened, but um, many a slip twixt cup and lip. Right, well, I've done the mod here and the glue's had nearly two days. Yeah, I suppose I'd better just pull it and see what happens. Was 40. I think it went bang at 50, didn't it? Ooh, are you as nervous as I am, boys and girls? Oh, there we go. Yeah. What's failed this time? Oh, there we go. I don't know if you can see the crack has opened up again but the linen binding has actually stopped it opening right up but I think we can um, assume that's the end of life for this one unless I put a new back on it so it would end up being the same bow but it will have had a new back and a new belly a bit like Trigger's broom Oh, well, I hope that's been entertaining. Happy New Year and all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs>